Hey y'all, Bear here. Look here, it's time for some more camp cooking and we're gonna do a meal today with what I'm gonna call mostly shelf-stable ingredients. And they're, they're mostly shelf-stable because they'll do okay out in the woods with you as long as it's not too hot. But we're gonna do Gaeta's, Gaeta, I'm not sure, the Italian chick on Food Network. We're gonna do her chicken stew. And I've substituted a few things according to what I could find at the grocery store and what I did or didn't have at home. And I thought I had at home. Anyways, here's where we're here's what we're doing. The one substitute that I made that I could have bought was she used fresh chicken. I'm using something that's shelf stable. So what we have here for our ingredients today is celery, carrot, onion, red kidney beans diced tomatoes, thyme, bay leaves, chicken, basil, olive oil, black pepper, salt, chicken broth, and tomato, dry, and dried tomato powder. And dried tomato, uh, <laughs> I just can't dig it, go and say it. And dried tomato powder. We're going with it. All right, let's start off prepping the onion. And of course, if you've been watching long, you know that I like to use a shallot when I'm at camp because it's the perfect size for a serving of onion without having to have extra. All right, we're going to call that enough onion. So here's a trick for you with your carrot. A, you can eat the skin if you want, but if you want to peel it and you don't want to take a peeler to camp, look at there, that 90 degree spine on your knife that you use for striking that ferro rod wipe, wipe that guy off and peel a carrot see there and I'm cutting this recipe roughly in half now I'll tell you what here's something we're gonna do we're gonna take this these celery leaves and we're gonna save those for something special in a little bit all right, so this is the base of our chicken stew. We need to saute these guys in a little olive oil. A little olive oil. I like to get a little salt going in there to bring that, bring out the juices. I, I hate to abuse my buck like this, but I have left my Swiss Army at home. In a pinch, we do what we got to do, y'all. I'm going to use half a can of the tomatoes and their juice. I'm going to use one cup of water and a packet of my low-sodium chicken bouillon for my chicken broth. Let's see, I've wet up my spoon, so I'm just going to pour some tomato powder in my hand to replace the tomato paste. I need a quarter teaspoon of thyme. We need uh, we need basil. We need basil like more basil. There we go. I need a bay leaf. Why you put a shaker top on a bay leaf? Chicken. Break up those chicken pieces. Go on with the lid and we wait. We'll add the beans at the end. Well, we got rid of the road noise and the park decided to mow grass. <laughs> well, after accidentally having to torture test my knife, let's see if it'll still cut anything. Remember that uh, celery leaves I talked about? We're going to give those guys a little chunk, a little dice. And that's going to act like parsley on our dish. It gives us a little pepper. A little less extra celery flavor. Now, there we go. Now we've got celery parsley <laughs> for our stew. We'll use that, top it off, make it look nice. Let's keep stirring this one and not burn it to the bottom like we did the other week. We'll taste test. See if we need to adjust the seasoning any. Mm, maybe just a Maybe just a little salt, some pepper. I'm going to hit it with some more of this tomato powder to help thicken it up. Hey 
Alright, last thing to go in are these beans. I don't know how much room I left myself for beans, but we'll put them in there. I didn't quite get them all in. Alright, battery ran out. Where were we? We're getting ready to put this in the bowl. Ooh. All right, now we need our parsley. <laughs> now that y'all is creative genius. There you go. This is the bite, y'all. Look at there. Y'all see that? We got a little bit of everything on there. Oh man. I mean, if you can cook like this at camp, why not do it? Oh, that's good stuff, y'all. You know, look here. It's nice to be back out in the park. Sorry about all the kitty noise. We've exchanged background sounds. We'll see you on the trail.